hello everyone um welcome to this uh, new video uh, this time we're going to look at um sugar and hobbies uh, friendship bond relationship how they how they are doing in this in, in these times and hopefully in the we can see future energies too so let's see Let's see how how they interact with each other. So let's start this one and to come out. Um, actually, in in Shuba's uh, side, um, we can see that he is going through something like emotionally, but in the sense that he is going through a time where he feels stuck. Like he wishes he could do more. We know that he is a perfectionist, so he definitely um, is struggling with this. Um, this in this period, um, he's like uh, restless, like uh, not being able to to take actions, and we know that. Whenever he gets like um, anxious about something, he likes go inwards. He doesn't talk about it. So this this like because this is the sun of fire. This is his energy. The sun of fire. It's all about um, um, going towards the gold, um, going at it very aggressively. So I feel like he feels like there's like a lack of energy. It's like he feels like a little bit like apathic and also it's like um he doesn't want to open up because of this it's like um he is in his own feelings and he's like a bit uh, like angry but but not um not as hobby it doesn't have to it is it's not about hobby it's just his inner because what came out is it's not his um perception of hobby it's how he feels right now he feels there's a conflict within him um i don't know why but there's like a conflict whether uh, what he wants and and what he needs i think he he's going through a period maybe because his his birthday is coming soon so i think that he is like going through a phase of, of more like insight and he's like more into his feelings but at the same time um, sometimes when you are too into your feelings you can become a bit like um, sensitive and and like uncomfortable not sensitive like I'm going to cry about it just sensitive in the sense that everything affects you it's like you don't want to be around others because it it will affect you and and it's like you're like hyper sensitive and everything bothers you it's like this he has like an inner conflict so he doesn't want to get too close to anyone right now he's like closed off and uh, in Hobby's side, we see that he definitely has a lot of love for and appreciation for Shua because we have the Two of Cups, um, and and I think um, it has a lot to do with um, with his appreciation. He feels really joyous when he he's uh, he's near uh, Hobby, uh, he's near Shua, sorry, or Yungi. 
um, actually hobby it's about it's a bit more like um, loving in that sense it's like he he appreciates and he's not afraid to show it it's like he's really proud of his friend he's really proud of the bond um, he has but he also knows his boundaries I mean we have the strength card here so obviously um, he has a lot of love for, for Jungi but at the same time it's like he understands Jungi in a deep and like the, the those kinds of understandings that doesn't need words you know like you it's like they look at each other and they know it's like hobby is really um it's really perceptive about when 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 Jungi is in this state where he becomes a bit of a hermit a bit of a loner a bit of a um, um he he's like uh too almost like moody so it's like um hobby understands that and often it's like he holds himself back from being um being like too cheerful maybe to towards Jungi so he he knows that that um he's he's uh he loves him and he will always be there for him but just um he's ready for whenever Jungi needs needs uh, that love because Jungi is is like that it's actually the way you have to um um approach him um Jungi has um besides his Virgo moon he has um a, a, a Venus in Aries so he's also someone that um, that's it doesn't like it's not very comfortable with the lovey dovey um affectionate uh, thing you know especially physically he feels really uncomfortable when people touch him and and try to comfort him in that way it's like he prefers for you to leave him let him be and let him uh, come to you after he feels feels better and and hobby is is uh, is like this hobby is very ac accepting and it's very it's like he understands he understands um he understands Jungi and he feels like really loving toward him but at the same time he holds back it's like he he holds back uh, from being like intrusive it's like he because hobby is really cheerful and it's also it's like they are different but at the same time they are not that different actually they have a lot of um things in common they are not that different it's just that uh Jungi has those periods where he uh he he goes inwards and there's no way you can pull him out of that mood it doesn't matter how much he likes you or how much he loves you it, it, it's, it's not about you you know that, that that's the thing with, with Jungi what he feels and what he thinks and how he reacts it's not about other people's expectancies it's not he's not the kind of person that does what the others um ask him to or maybe he he acts like in a way because um it will be easier for others no actually he's someone that if he's having like an introspective uh, um period and he's not comfortable with doing something he just doesn't do it um and, and we we had seen it he's not someone you you can manipulate or maybe like and he's not someone that you can convince you cannot talk him out of out things because it's like if he is on in his own feelings and if he is in his mind and if he is going through something like internally like in an inner uh, aspect it's like you cannot um, you cannot convince him to get out and do and pretend like uh, everything is okay because he has his times he has he has times where he is really cheerful and he has times where he um 
it's like he gets too caught up in his mind, in his feelings. So, um, in he gets uh, like uh, frustrated, you know, for things he. I think this frustration is for things that he wants to accomplish, and he's like right now those um those projects are not coming out or or he has to wait uh, for a response or something of a sort so he thinks he we have the son of fire and the son of fire is all about going forward and it's all about um also um starting things and also like putting things in motion so i think that there may there may be a project or something that he feels that is not uh, having the results he, he wishes so it's like he's uh, like a bit uh, upset because of this it's like he he, he needs to be on his own um, so in in the in the part of the general interpretation of their of their um, of their relationship of their bond we have success we have the star and we have the tower <clears throat> so when we have this like these cards are really are really positive in a sense that the, and definitely when they are together they are more successful it's like they are a great uh, duo it's like they complement each other very well in a professional way and also in a personal way because it's like they make each other better i think it's because um there's a sense of 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 friendship and there's a sense of i don't think we can put like a, a role to it or like a, like a, um or, or or like like a label to say is this and that it's just that they complement each other and they they become happier after they have an interaction after they have um it's like everything lights up um because actually um we always see um sugar as been um as been maybe the more reserved one you know like like almost like the tough one you know like he people say that he is like savage and everything and he obviously doesn't hold back he is very honest and he's very straightforward if he doesn't like something he doesn't fake it but at the same time uh hobby also this be we see the um, the hopeful side of hobby because it's the concept they gave him um, but he also has his days where he feels uh, where he feels down where he feels uh, tired where he feels uh, not so hopeful because he, he actually is um, very moody also so I think um, he is he's very similar to Suga in that sense it's like just that uh, Suga has the um, maybe the the ability of being able to show this um, apathy maybe or this not so bright and positive side of himself and it's like people accept him because it's like we know that he has been like this from the beginning but instead of hobby, um, hobby has always played this image of of being really like funny and being really outgoing and being really hilarious, and he's really loud and he he's a funny guy. He's really funny. But I always say about um, just like when you see like uh, maybe people that are comedians, you know that they work as comedians. And you always think of them like they are they must be really happy because they are always smiling and laughing and actually in smiling and laughing sometimes is like a, a self-defense mode like psychological mode where you um, sh showed yourself in a way so you don't get hurt 
so um, obviously hobby has like a lot of more deadness than what we see than behind that smile um, we he has uh, he has more deadness and he he's much more serious than everyone um, thinks he is actually he takes everything really seriously so that's why he's so successful at what he does he's not someone that um it's just like fixes everything with a smile no he's actually a really hard working person so um sometimes you can be really happy and really joyful but if you're not if you're not um um hard working if you're not um uh, if you don't have the will to get better, especially in the industry where they are, um, he's really like a really talented man, but he's actually really talented because he's very consistent in his work. And he's really loved by all the members because of his loyalty. He's a really loyal guy. He is someone that um, he's not going to to try to control you or maybe to try to convince you you can be yourself with him you can be yourself you you can say whatever you want to say and he will listen to you he's a great listener so he's really wise and he's really like really sensitive in that sense and i think that's why uh Jungi feels like Whenever he's ready and he wants to talk about what 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 he feels about um, his 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 hardships, it's like hobby will be there to he will be there to just sit there and listen to him, not just not to do anything like out of the box, you know, because they they are both really simple people. Actually, they value they value others more for what they what their actions are than what they say it's like they are the, they are the kind of people that always uh, are always uh, looking um, at uh, what others are are doing it's like they think that your actions speak for yourself more than what you mean to say or more than about like diplomatic um speeches you know they they don't buy that it's like they uh, especially jungi jungi is someone that he is really sharp he's really like besides he's really like intuitive so he definitely can see through you um but hobby too it's just that hobby wears a smile when he's studying you it's like he, he doesn't let you know that he is seeing through you it's like he's like oh yes let's some um, let's smile let's laugh let's last let's laugh this up but he knows your intentions he knows when someone is reliable he knows when someone is lying he knows when someone it's uh want, wants to get uh think, thinking uh wants to take advantage of something he knows it it's just that he waits for the right moment for the, the other part to mess up so he can say like oh yes i knew it <laughs> but um he doesn't get um upset really like really easily actually he's really like polite in that sense and he does believe that uh, that there's good good side to everything he's positive but at the same time he's really realistic he's really realistic maybe it's because his moon is in taurus so he's really down to earth in that sense it's like he 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 knows he knows things it's like he perceives his things he knows so but he's really humble in that sense that he's not going to call you out he's not going to be like oh yes i know what you did i know what you said no he's not like that he just lets time to develop things that eventually what what's not right eventually what's false eventually people that doesn't have the good intentions eventually like their masks fall so he is is very patient in that sense it's like he waits he waits he waits for the others so in in this sense they do have 
a great bonding um and and especially when you have success and when you have um the star it means that everything they do together is like it's like touched by 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 angels because it's like touched by good luck because it's like they are blessed when they are with each other actually they should release more things together they should release um more um more activities together because they are blessed together it's like they bring the best of each other when they are around each other so it's it's a great it's a great combination and also we have the tower here so the tower talks about um about something that has to end uh something some structures that need to end for it to bring new changes and new and new possibilities so i think that's what what makes them uh successful at what he, what they do when they are together is is that um even though they they go through changes and they are maturing and they are growing and they are um, like moving on and they are not the same guys that they were seven years ago um it's those changes that make their bond stronger because there's an, an acceptance here there's an acceptance it's like they believe in each other they believe in each other potential they believe in each other in a professional way because they work together and they also believe in each other in a emotional way it's like they see each other like like um like a rock like a mountain, something stable, something that that no matter what will remain, that no matter what it will it will be there, no matter the changes, no matter um, all the turbulence, no matter um, all the different situations that can come up. It's like they are both um, they both really trust each other. Um, it's like they are each other's rock in the group and and they are my, admire each other too it's just that Yungi is a bit emotional it's it, actually Yungi has a, like um, a problem with expressing his emotions it's like he worries a lot he worries a lot and sometimes when he is in, its, in that state it's really hard for someone to get to him because um he's just not available he is just someone that is um is used to um fixing things on his own and he doesn't know how to ask for help because he's like he's not used to um asking for help he is not asking for help actually the word he's not used to um, asking for advice you know it's like maybe he will ask hobby because he he has uh, he 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 trusts hobby but in in a general sense it's like he is really um, stubborn in the sense that he doesn't want to ask others for advice because he's like um, really stubborn in that sense is it's like I'm going to fix this on my own and actually this is not possible to 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 fix on his own because it's like he is on his own mind so if he is on his own mind dealing with all these issues with all these thoughts that he has in his mind there, there's no way someone can help him because this is inside his mind this conflict is inside his mind so he needs to let the others know that Oh yes, I'm thinking too much about this. Or oh, I'm having a trouble letting go, or I'm, I'm I cannot sleep because uh, of this thing because I'm anxious because of this thing. It's like he needs to learn to to be vulnerable and being able to embrace that vulnerability because it's is he is his um 
his most precious uh, attribute that he is um, vulnerable that he is sensitive that he has feelings that he is not this warrior that is always ready to to question everything no he's actually really sensitive and he goes through mood changes because the moon you know the moon changes every year <laughs> so it's he is is this this thing that happens with him emotionally in a deeper level so um it would be nice if we, he could open up more so he can feel a little a little bit relief so but in, in an overall it's like they are each other's rock and they they trust each other and it's like it's nice to have like a friend a confident that waits for you patiently um after you after you you get out of your cave after you get out of your um i mean of your um inner struggles that we all go through so in the next video i'm going to do young and say young and jungkook because uh, i know there there are a lot of people that have been asking um i'm going to clarify just from now on that it's not a shipping reading so please if i do a tay and jungkook's reading please shippers don't 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 watch don't watch it because i don't ship them romantically i think it's it's disrespectful um i don't care what their sexual preferences are but to couple or to ship two members together especially when they are really fond of each other but in a very like a family way you know it, it just don't do that <laughs> So um, it please stay respectful because um, it's it, it's gross it's actually. So and and then I will continue with the others. Also, I wanted to let you know that during the um, the week I will be um, also uploading. Again, I'm here with my boys. I'm losing my boys again. I talk about Taekook and uh, and um, I'm losing my voice. See what happens. <laughs> um, I'm going to start the series, the Venus series, the Venus in the Science of the Boys. So, um, and later when I when I uh, deliver the first video, I'm going to give like a brief um, introduction about what a Venus sign is in astrology. And of course, I will start with our leader, with Namjoon, and then with Jin, and then we'll go from there. So please show your support for all the members, please, because I <laughs> I have seen the views, and I know that the Magdalene line is really famous, it's really popular among the armies, but please give all of them the same amount of attention and, and love and appreciation. So I'll see you in the next video. So thank you so much for being here um, and for the loving messages. <laughs>